Hello. We, we are, are Sand. You, you are watching Improv Nerd with Jimmy Corain. Improv Nerd. And now you're a Quenchers Monday nights at 8 o'clock. And you're not part of institutions like I.O. or Second City. And I know you've been approached by I.O. Uh, to, to, to do the show, right? Um, why have you decided not to do that? It's just like the stars kind of haven't aligned. Like, you know, uh, just like it's funny because like as we started to gain momentum and kind of we had this form and we had this kind of like style that was like coming along, like we approached I.O. and things didn't work out then. And uh, but since then, it's like I'm either away or somebody's away. And like, you know, Mike's in a show that's like five days a week and it's like pretty intense. So it's just like it, times haven't really kind of yeah. aligned you for it as say much. Something? Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say, like I like I, I like have two nights a week that I'm at I O anyway, and I think for me it was just like we you know we if I if we have I have a show with Sand already I don't need another show like another show with Sand we have great shows at Quenchers if people want to see us they can see us there why go to a space that is bigger I mean I you know if you like being on a team at I O I kind of know that it doesn't necess it's no like helper for you to to play there it's fun to play there but it's not like I think when I was like a younger improviser, it was like that would have, that was the thing where it's just like you gotta get up there to be on the sta that stage with like a team that you love, like that's like the dream. But now it's just more about like, oh, if you have that team that you love, you can play anywhere. And if you're doing it regularly, you don't need it to be in a certain place. I think too, like, and it, it, I agree with both of those things. Like, I also think that like I value that we are independent, and I like I value that like it does that our that our show doesn't belong to IO in any way. Like, that, I mean, you know, it's like everybody's got their things that they think about IO. And I'm, j and like, there's a part of me that's very proud and glad that like Sand is not like owned by that theater. And how does that help you guys creatively to be independent? Because people are terrified to do independent things. I mean, I think we have a bit, it a bit nice because like, we're, we like, we have a weekly show, and like w people are very generous in asking us to, you know, perform different places. So like, we don't have to hustle as much for shows, which I feel like, you know, is kind of what can really weigh down on like an independent team's shoulders. Because it's just like, you know, if you're not playing often, then what really are you, you know? <clears throat> and I think like earlier when we did have to hustle more, I know that like we were close to breaking up a ton of times. Why before. were you going to break up? Well, just because I think like. You know, it was so much more work mm -hmm. to get shows, and I think like we were doing. Sometimes we'd rehearse for two months in between shows, and I think sometimes and other people were getting other opportunities, and it just like the thing has to generate enough energy on its own to be self-propelling. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we were lucky enough. I think just to do those coin flips of like, yeah, let's stick together until the thing kind of started to have its own momentum. And for the longest time, we were rehearsing in a way that. We all knew that we didn't like doing it because it was like sort of like standard improvisation, like on the wings, sort of like you know this whole you know, come on, <laughs> you know like that improv. But and, and then and like we kind of I think another part that kept us together was knowing that like there has there is something because like we're all we're, we're talented and we really like each other. Like we need to figure it out. And when we eventually did, I think we were all like, oh thank God, like yeah. we found something that we can do that other people like that we like. We we're not uncomfortable doing shows. We're not trying to do. We're not trying to play a way that we don't like to play. I don't know where your car is. <laughs> the jet black 1991 Chevy S10 pickup. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask me another thousand times. I don't know where it is. Where is my jet black 1991 <laughs> Chevy S10 pickup truck? Where'd you have it? It was in the back lot. Okay. What did you put it in the back lot for? <laughs> I got the pass. I paid nineteen dollars a month for that pass, and you park it in the back lot. We making any progress in here? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Does that help? It's hot soda. <laughs> <laughs> 